Today we're going to start with a new unit in natural science, which is related to energy. Okay? First of all, we're going to start with the definition of energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Please take a look around. There are lots of things happening. Leaves move on the tree. Cars travel along the road. Planes soar through the sky. And lights brighten up our rooms. All this happens because of energy. Okay? Energy is what makes things move, change and carry out work. For example, if you're playing football or hockey with your friends, you use some of your energy in order to do this. Switching a light in your home also takes energy. But these types of energy are not the same. You don't use the same energy if you're playing football that, is, that if you're switching on a light in your house. So there are lots of different types of energy and we're going to learn the, these different forms of energy. But before that, I have to tell you that it has energy has no mass and it occupies no space. No space, sorry. But it makes things happen. We know it exists because we see the effects that it produces on other things. Nothing happens without energy. Now, let's analyze the different forms of energy. First of all, I'm going to change the color. We've got mechanical energy, then light energy, thermal energy, sound energy, chemical energy, and electrical energy. Let's analyze each of them. First of all, mechanical energy. It's the one that is associated with motion and position of an object, okay? The one that makes things move. Light energy. Uh, bodies like the sun emit energy in the form of light, okay? So they produce light energy. Thermal energy. Fire or... La Oops, sorry, here there is missing an L lava of a volcano also emit energy but this energy it's in the form of heat okay so the sun fire or lava produce energy but in the form of heat let's move on sound energy it's also a form of energy that is produced by vibrating objects so for example imagine i'm playing a saxophone a violin a viola it doesn't matter the instrument that comes up to your mind. I make it vibrate and then it's pro it produces sound, okay? Chemical energy. It's the one that is stored in substances, for example, food or false. Imagine you're going to play football. If you want to play football, you need some energy and its energy is stored inside your body when you eat food. Electrical energy, it's the last one. It's associated with the presence and motion of electrical charges. One example is lightning, but also the um, electrical wires that we find in the roads are also examples. So now that we have seen uh, what is energy and the different types of, of the different types of energy, we are going to do an activity, which is going to be this one. Here I've placed different photos that represent different types of energy. And here I've written all the um, forms of energy that we have seen. I want you to match uh, each photo with the form of energy that it represents. So I'm going to let you uh, one minute in order to think and then I will solve it. Come on, the first one, the fire, which one do you think? The bicycle, the food, do you remember the one in which uh, there is an energy which is stored in substances and later allows us to, to carry out different uh, functions? For example, when we play football or when we play basketball. Come on here, we've got light bulb, which one do you think? This one, it's quite easy. Come on. Do you have it? Okay, I'm going to solve it. And 
you check if you were right or wrong, okay? The fire, it's a thermal energy because it's it produces heat, okay? Uh, the boy which is riding a bicycle, it's the mechanical energy, remember, the one that is related to motion, okay? The sandwich, it's the chemical energy. Remember here, we have seen that this energy is stored in substances such as food, okay? And it's the one that later allows us to play. Here we've got a light bulb and it's light energy, okay? It produces light. Here the battery, it's a sound energy. When it vibrates, it produces sound. And finally, this pen is electrical energy, okay? So this is the end of our first natural session. On Thursday, we're going to keep on working on forms of energy and we're going to carry out an activity. I hope you have found useful this video. See you soon!